St. Clair County Risa presents Dateline Schools, hosted by Terry Harrington. This week on Dateline Schools, we're visiting Marysville High School as the scene of the 2017 St. Clair County Risa Learning Symposium. And this week on Dateline Schools, have the opportunity of talking with keynote speaker, George Kuros. So how do you define it? Can you just put it down in just a few short words, innovation? Yeah, innovation is simply doing new and better things. That's mm -hmm. kind of all we want people to see is that um, there's a lot of things that, a lot of times people equate it to technology, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, not all technologies are considered innovative. If you remember the Zune, mm -hmm. and most people who, who actually uh, are watching this or listening to this right now have no idea what the mm -hmm. Zune was, but that was Microsoft's answer to the iPod, mm -hmm. and uh, nobody wanted it. Now, it's a new technology, but it was terrible. And I think that uh, we have this notion that anything that we do with technology is innovative, but it, all it means is doing new and better things. It's how we lead, it's how we parent even, um, and it's how we teach. So it's just kind of a mindset more than anything. Well, you did mention the, the technology piece, and I know social media is huge for a lot of circles, and, yeah. and I know for educators are starting to use that tool yeah, yeah. more and more. How does that fall into being innovative? I, I think the, the biggest thing is that um, education for years has been an extremely isolating position. So even though we're around people all the time, they're usually kids mm -hmm. and you go into a classroom and you don't get to actually see other people who do your job, uh, do it, or do you have enough time to access them? But with social media, you see, and it's really interesting because years, when I was here, I think three years ago, um, the resistance to some of the things I was saying is so different today. People have, are, have not only actively embraced this stuff and are open to it, they've been doing it for years. And I think that the big shift for um, social media is that we have access to other educators. So when I first became a principal, I was the only principal in my school. There's only <laughs> one. So the whole reason I even got online in the first place is I want to see what other principals were doing. And uh, I could see it a much more authentic way. And even though I could connect with principals in my own school district, that's limiting. There wasn't many. and But now I get to see principals all over the world and, and learn from them. And so I think that's where the innovation comes from is that you're seeing all these ideas, you take them, and then you adapt them in some way uh, to apply to your community because each community is different. And my job is to know it, but it's also to serve them in the best way possible. And my guess is with the way kids are today with social media, they're better experts at it than we are. That's a good way to reach out to the kids too. Yeah, in some ways they are, in some ways they're not, right? So like you see a lot of kids doing super inappropriate things there uh, because they have have the guidance now they actually know how to manipulate social media they know how to use it they know how to connect with people but they don't necessarily see it as a way to learn from others a way to actually create opportunities for themselves so i think that part of it is they have the ability to use a technology but not necessarily leverage it and that's where educators come in is we're we're teaching them going beyond you know the the selfies and and it's not saying a selfie is bad or any of that stuff i think those are all have their time and place and they have a value um, for how we build relationships mm -hmm. and connect with other people. Um, but it, we don't want it to be limited to that, if that makes sense. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.